this is an attack by other countries, of foreign of foreign countries, is what you're saying then? I, I believe from what I've seen in uh, the, the, the witnesses that I've talked to that this is a, a coup. That's James Phil Waldron, a retired U.S. Army colonel, pushing his baseless claims of election fraud. Waldron specialized in psychological operations during his military career and says he conducted electronic warfare and counter-deception. Today, he owns a bar in Texas, but just after the 2020 election, he was busy testifying before legislatures in battleground states about his now long-debunked claims that voting systems were manipulated in the election. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here. And why is Mike Lindale not in jail right now? You know, he's a former crackhead, right? And I use that word sparingly. He claims to be off the pipe, but if you hear, see, or look at him, well, I have my doubts on that one. But just to be clear, I don't think he should be in jail because he did drugs. I think he should be in jail because he defrauded people in previous schemes before he became the My Pillow Jackaloon. The Better Business Bureau actually gave him an F rating. So Lindell also is flying around the country meeting with any jackaloon that will listen to him and promoting the big lie. He is responsible for the radicalization of many that attended the January 6th insurrection. Those folks, many of them are actually locked up right now. So what about Lindell? Mike Lindell is a pariah. He will attach himself to anyone and anything that will further his cause. And right now his cause is twofold. Stay out of jail and avoid mountains of lawsuits he is facing by Dominion. And he's cooked, by the way. His lawyers are desperately trying to settle and Dominion told them to go pound sand. So Rudy Giuliani, Sidney Powell, and that other crazy lawyer, Jenna Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, they are in a world of hurt. Now, Mike Lindell has found an alt-right wing deranged former soldier and he has latched onto him, and together they're promoting violence against our country. Now, I serve this country. I wore the uniform, but before I was ever given that honor, I had sworn an oath to defend the country against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Now, I'm not sure what oath this con artist swore to, but it sure as hell wasn't the same one that I and my brothers and sisters that I served with took. These jackaloons eat at me to my core, and I see people that wore the uniform now defacing it like this chucklehead is doing, and I have no sympathy for them. As far as I'm concerned, they are committing treason and should be punished as such. Mike Lindell, Donald Trump, those folks are starting to get desperate. They see the writing on the wall, whether it's the January 6th committee or the personal lawsuits or the criminal investigations by the Georgia and New York attorney generals or even the creditors that they owe billions to calling to collect. Wherever they turn, they are cooked. So the more desperate they get, the more outlandish they will be and the more they will be incriminating themselves. So I'm going to be watching it all unfold and sharing it with you folks. So hit that subscribe button and don't miss a thing. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.